What's going on, guys? Welcome to the I Don't Get It podcast. It is Naz. And it is Lauren. And I know it's me. It's Ashley. (laughs) And I'm in a (laughs) grumpy mood, guys. Okay. I just feel like I can't get anything done around here. I know this is a very first world problem, but it's just like anywhere you go is an hour there and an hour back. It used to be like everything was like a half an hour or like 20 minutes. I feel like going to the West Side is a trek. Well, I know. Yeah. But it's not just that. It's like yesterday I went to Burbank and it took at three o'clock. Yeah. It took 45 minutes to get to Burbank. Do you think, remember how we were in the car the other day talking about how sort of depressing it is that it's dark at 4.30 now? I think it plays a role Do you role think that plays a role in it? I think in it traffic? only makes yeah. me yeah. happier when I see the sun going down. <laughs> Lord, no, I'm not, say, no, I'm me not, and I'm Ashley not. were like, it's kind of depressing. You don't have the blinding sun in your eyes. You're not getting God, hot in your car. blinding sun. You don't get hot in the, your car at this oh. time of year. Oh, it's cool holy. out there. <laughs> I get very hot in the car because we don't have air conditioning. <laughs> um, All right. I'm also, not going to complain about this to you guys. I'm just warning you of the mood that I'm in before we start. It but, worries uh, me because you just drove here from the west side with Jared. And um, no. considering that he complained for a podcast, what, two, four I know, weeks ago? people are going to hate me. About the traffic in LA? No, no, no one's like, going to hate you. move then. No, I'm saying it makes me feel like Jared's going to want to move like ASAP. No, Imagine. I know. I even told um, him in the car. You can't complain like, about the traffic around him. I was no, I was like, maybe it is time to move back. Imagine what? having so much um like like no traffic, you know, and the access you would have to restaurants and food if you were just like Lauren, I don't need any more access. <laughs> the roll I saw on my stomach today was one that I've never seen before. <laughs> it really makes I saw me... something I've never seen before. before. Yeah. Whatever that is. It's, it's, it's beauty right and the beast, no, right? Not the, right not the correct yeah. How does it go again? Um, there must there be must something there that there wasn't, wasn't there before. before. Yeah. All right, what are we doing today? What are we talking okay, about? So apparently, we talk about catfishing. You guys, when I saw the, rest, we're gonna be. I'm gonna be <laughs> blunt, and and maybe it'll be funny to you guys today. Um, no, no, miss nice Ashley today, because when I saw these emails from the potential callers that were quote catfish, I was like, you guys, we got to change this topic. Um, there's just these are not legit. There is a story that started out with when I was in sixth grade, and I'm like, no, <laughs> no, guys. But in order to let's let's let the fans decide. So we're so gonna we let still you decide. Call these this people. is why we're doing it because you guys apparently wanted it. Our producer Courtney said that you were excited and we couldn't cancel this one. So if it's a stinker, not my <laughs> fault. <laughs> Yeah, very funny. Okay. What was the one? What was it during the Halloween one? Yeah, Lauren, the Halloween you, one. It's well, gonna be another Halloween one. No, but what was the one that we were laughing so it was hard at? The, yeah, the haunted, the the scary stories one. Yeah, yes, but it so, was it was a specific story. It was story. the lead up. Um, yeah, the girl the guy who on the met train. the guy on the Airbnb oh, yeah, side or something. I just didn't know why that was part. <laughs> Um. Yeah. I, so whoever you are, you're super nice. No, we're so we glad you listened. It. it was hilarious because it wasn't that scary. Or well, it's because you misled us. Anyway, I think it just was. It could have been omitted from the story, but still, it brought me so much joy. So I'm happy it wasn't. Anyways, okay. So catfishing. What are our thoughts on catfishing in general? I feel like it's done. It's over. If do we feel like that because of the MTV show though? Because yeah. you know what's funny? I felt. I really feel like the show or the documentary, I should say, yes. that turned into the show, put it on the map. Because before that, was it? It was that even a term? It was not a term. No, it, was not it a wasn't. Term. So no. the documentary like the made yeah. it a thing, basically. Yeah, absolutely. That's wild. Wait, um, why is it? Why catfish? Do well, catfish is camouflage? Documentary. Can we talk about the fact that you dated Neve? Well, you just. <laughs> Well, um, Lauren dated Neve because she was so obsessed with him. I, was, and- I saw the documentary Catfish. I watched it like three times a day for a week. And I DM'd him and I go, hey, I w-, or I just tweeted out. I go, hey, huge crush on at Neve Shulman. I've watched Catfish a million times in one week. And then he DM'd me back. And he but, didn't fall for my catfish. Can we, <laughs> can we just talk about the fact that the he guy, literally, the guy that did a whole documentary on go on dating someone from just online. based on the yeah. what he knew from them online, ended up DMing Lauren back. Like, what if she's just trying to catfish him again? He's a very handsome man. I'm so, he's like my dream Jewish husband. Mm, I'm so jealous yeah. of you. That's all I wanted to say. Very 
well endowed. Have you? It was the longest sex I've almost ever had. Oh, and I was wow. like, can this really? be over? Whoa. Yes. What? I am wow. so jealous of you. Yeah. Courtney's was, getting an Us Weekly was, headline there, this week. It was very <laughs> Guys, well that's so bad. And then when it was over, he like rolled over and tried to do it again. And I'm like, I'm done. And he didn't <laughs> give me water. <laughs> Oh, I remember her big he thing was that he didn't offer water. her water. Serve water. You're, what are you at the Four Seasons? I'm you just like usually if you're at water. someone's apartment, you go, "Hey, can I yeah. like you want? Can I get you anything?" Yeah, I feel you. Anyway, um, Catfish was a great documentary. Like, <laughs> <laughs> having said that, having said that, and so the term <laughs> him catfish, and his wife are hot. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Damn. Gorgeous. Um, I don't remember how it came about, but some weird guy in that small town of the girl that catfished him said, "You know, some things like." Something is like a catfish. And then yeah, it was just, like slipping through the net or something. It was a very weird... I don't know. I remember when they tell you the explanation for the term at the end of the movie. I was still like, I think we could come up with something better than well, this. Well, look where it is now. I know. No, I think it's such a catchy name. I'm Googling why is catfish called catfishing called okay catfish. you're gonna be like okay well that's weird it's called now we all just use that as this very easy expression but they could have come up with a better name what do we define catfish as being like it, impostering or pretending to be someone you're not mm-hmm. either over the phone or online yeah and, yes and is that does that sound accurate false advertisement of yourself oh yeah Okay, so according to Vince Pierce, the husband of Angela Pierce, the subject of the catfish documentary, the term catfish comes from fishermen, quote, putting sea catfish in with the cod to nip at their tails and keep them active. Oh, during overseas transport in order to produce more lively and fresh meat. So exactly how does that translate to dating? You guys were absolutely right. Yeah. So, <laughs> so putting like catfish in with cod to nip at their tails to keep them going. Just like, so it's like leading. To keep them interested. Leading yeah. them on to nowhere. Yeah. Or leading them on to death or yeah. dead end. Mm-hmm. Why, dead do, end? why do people catfish? I think it's for an ego attention, thing. For I think, ego? I think for a lot of people try to get the attention of somebody who they don't think they could get being yeah. themselves. Or lack of self-confidence. So they want to yeah. pretend they're someone they're not, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And I think I have to say that... Um, have um, you guys ever been catfish? No, but like also these days it's so easy to, to catch one. Like if the guy isn't... You meet them online and they're not FaceTiming you. Like there's no excuses I'm sorry, there's no, like, his w- webcam is dead. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I know. Or, like, he doesn't or his have FaceTime one. Doesn't or his FaceTime yeah. doesn't yeah. work. You know, yeah. like, he has a... No, I'm sorry. There's a way. Yeah, but the thing is, actually, in some catfish instances, people meet up and then, like, they don't show up. You know what I'm saying? They so all- it's like, so it's not like the person is being ignorant of not, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying if it gets sketchy to the point in which you're wondering if you're being catfished, you probably are. Yeah. The people that are being catfish that. don't want to believe they're being catfish. So they're like, oh yeah. no, like his camera doesn't work and they're going to believe it until, I you know. know. Would know. you guys date someone you've never seen before IRL? I remember I thought I was getting catfish. I think I was catfished by a fake Jesse McCartney. <laughs> Yeah. Do you remember that? No. Yeah. When was, it was that? my junior year of college, and for and we had met Jesse before, mm-hmm. and like we hung out with him once. Whoa! And so you actually thought it was him, probably. Then. We yeah. did. So and then I rem- and then I asked him, like for like, do you remember this time and this time? And then he got would would get like weird. Actually, Just, how did he approach you? Yeah. Like what, what did was he it? Say? DM? Like was from, he like hey? How was it? Was, was it that, a text? It was a tweet. It was tweeting. Wasn't it tweeting? I don't remember. There was also another weird Jesse McCartneyism where, like, there was this kid that sat next to me in class. Oh, this is so awkward. He used to pretend like he like used to produce for Jesse McCartney because he knew that I like Jesse McCartney. Oh, <laughs> Ashley, <And> then, <laughs> so fucking nice. Which is like, but, but like, and I hadn't met Jesse. No, McCartney that's so yet that, weird too. That's I, so yeah, weird. No, I hadn't. I hadn't um, met him yet. Yeah. But then I did. We ended up meeting him you and like hanging out with him friend. that one time, and then. And you said, I do you know him, this I go, guy? Do you know this guy? And then he goes, never, no, never. <laughs> and then I sat next to the kid and he brought up Jesse. And I go, well, that's, I was so mean. But <laughs> actually, I, you I were like, well, actually, I was with him last night and he doesn't know who you are. It's exactly what I said. You said that? Yeah. And what did he say? And then he just like was just like crumbled. <laughs> 
He just like so kind of turned, sad. like looked forward at the board and just never spoke to me again. Oh my God, that's, that's really sad. Super, obviously in high school, you're, I mean. It's college, oh, Lauren. Oh, I was mind. a junior in college. Oh. It was the same year. Oh, well, that's bizarre then. That's so Wait, weird. Wait, you got, we answered my question though. Would you ever date someone that you've never seen in real life? Um, I don't know if I like really believe that that, do I think well, that I like it's feel dating? like I've done that before. Because <laughs> you definitely <laughs> you have. probably have, Lauren. <laughs> Like, have you guys ever truly had an internet boyfriend? Where you yeah. just knew him. Like, from you've never, never seen this person. Life. And I'm and I'm not talking for anyone listening, like, oh, you have a mutual friend, so you know that he exists. I'm talking like you don't know if the actual person is a person. No, I don't, you're dating I don't think that's I don't happened. Think so. I, don't, yeah. I don't even know if that's dating. I could never date someone that I don't know is like a walking person. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the they're world. a walking person. It's just, do they look the way that they look? And do they go by the same name? Do they have the same occupation and interest? Are they and all the that? same gender? Yeah. No, yeah. I don't know if. No, the answer is no, I would not do that. Yeah. I mean, if I were. Well, because I, I just ask because obviously people have to be willing. There are people out there that are willing because that's kind of where all the stories start, right? Yeah. You're dating someone you've never seen. Yeah. yeah. Excuse me. That, Sorry, that kind of brings me <clears throat> to this girl. Who wrote in? Wait, um, are we calling her? We're not calling her, but she has a. And she met a guy on OK Cupid, and this is. I read this and I was like, "Wow, that is cold hearted." She um, said that he they're meeting at a restaurant. He told me what kind of car he drove, so she was on the lookout. And when she saw him pull up, she was excited and nervous. But that quickly changed when she saw him get out of the car. His face looked like his photos. But he left out a very important piece of information. Okay. What? And since I was new to online dating, I didn't pay attention to certain details like height. As Nate walked up to me, I didn't, it didn't take long for me to notice that not only was he shorter than me, but he was definitely a little person. I'm about 5'5", five five, no. and I'm telling you, this guy had to be under four feet tall. Oh, no. I was so upset. I felt betrayed and lied to. I didn't even go inside the restaurant. She ended things right there. No. He said, no. he said to her that she was shallow, but she said that he needed to be upfront with her with those kinds of details in the future. Oh, you know what? No. He ain't right. I mean, he ain't wrong and he, she ain't wrong. I know. <laughs> That's what I meant exactly. to say. Exactly. There's just like... Like yes, you are kind of first, shallow to not lied. give it a shot. He lied, right? Did he, he, did, he, oh, didn't, he didn't even specify. By not saying you're oh, not he didn't lying. specify his, his height. Well, he, then he should have warned her. In that way, I don't Why? know. Maybe she was What do you shallow? mean? He's a person just like I everyone think, no, else. No, no, no. I know, I but he should have had like honest thing. Like, I hope you're okay dating like a little person. What does it matter? He's a person so. just like everyone else. I agree. Else. I agree with everything. I think that she was being shallow. She should Oh, no. She definitely should have given him a shot She should have gone on dinner with to dinner with him. I would have had dinner for sure. Definitely. You just never know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's so messed up. And yeah, if it's not like he lied, because I thought that she had a point there, because like he said, like oh, I'm six like, foot or five something. ten. Yeah, you know, which actually happens on the motherfucking rag. Yeah. out here in these streets. <laughs> absolutely. I think that she should have gone on a date with him. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if she was like that. Is so, could you imagine yourself walking out of a car and a guy being like, whoa, 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 bye bye. I know, like that happened. That's happened to people that have called in before. That's so, so sad. Remember so when sad. I got stood up by that. NBA player who I will not yeah. name. Yeah. Did I ever share that? I think um, I shared that. Yeah, I don't think we said it was an NBA player. I don't know if oh. we... Don't know he asked me to go see a movie and then I went and I was there and I started and I was like, hey, I'm here. And then the text went green, but I didn't think about it because I'm like, obviously you told me to meet him here. Five minutes go by, 10 minutes go by. And I was like, no, this is never... Ha-. You guys, it is the, it is honestly the saddest feeling. I called an Uber like 15 minutes after. I think I texted you guys. Yeah. And then I just cried on the way home. It's so it's embarrassing. It's very demoralizing. It's so demoralizing. All his texts are green. So weird. But so what did you... Also, what, yeah, again. what the fuck do I expect trying to like date someone like no, that? No, I though? know. But he did end up coming back after you. No, yeah, yeah. There was a, I don't even know that you can really accept that apology. No, yeah. Then that he that was apology. so sorry. He's like, oh, I don't know. I was like, I don't even care what the excuse is. Like, I'm obviously never going out Yeah, again. exactly. So mean. Yeah. Right, okay. Well, that was a good... That was a good story. A right? good discussion. Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, should so we call gives, a person? Yeah, let's call a person. Hopefully they're real and we're not being catfished by these catfish stories. All right. Well, let's give our first caller a call. All right, everyone. We have our first caller who was catfished. Uh, please tell us your story. Um, I, this was more of a friendly type of situation. I had met this person um, 
through Tumblr on the internet and we connected really quick. I think um, their name at the time was Asher, what I thought to be. Um, so a guy around my age, I was about 19 at the time, and he just seemed very normal. Like there were no red flags. It wasn't anything flirty or anything like that. It was just someone that I talked to like on a daily basis. Um, after a little bit of time, we had like a, a mutual friend group that we spoke with and there were some red flags that started to come about. Like we did a lot of video chatting, like watching movies together on like popcorn time or something like that, where a lot of times it would be some of us voice chatting while we watched the movies and he would never want to join that. It would always be like text chatting. He would never want to do any of the voice chatting with us. Um, I think I was closer to him than anybody else because I had his phone number and we kind of talked over text message too and kind of like exchanged pictures over text message, mm -hmm. but it wasn't anything like Snapchat either. Mm -hmm. So one of the girls that we were mutually friends with had searched the email address that he was using on Skype, which led to a Facebook account under a girl named Ashley, which we thought we were really clever to do because we'd watched Catfish a lot. Um, and yeah, so, very. I've definitely done reverse yeah. image searches all the time just to see what happens. Oh, yeah. We tried that too with the photos that were sent, but nothing had come up. Hmm. Um, so we we lost touch after a while. And a couple years later, um, I had run into a person that just seemed so familiar to me, had a lot of the same interests, had a lot of the same speech patterns that I had noticed too, because for some reason they were just very unique in the way that they they spoke and they typed. Um, okay. Wait, so when writing you say pa writing patterns, wait, not, wait, not when like you say, voice. Yeah, yeah. Was it on like, Tumblr it was, again? It was. Okay. So just a lot. Like there were just little things that I picked up too. That I was like, this just seems like the same person to me. What um, are some of under, the little things you picked up? So there were things that they were interested in that there were lengthy conversations about. Like for some reason, had this very big obsession with like Christopher Nolan films and the dark Knight, and a lot of documentaries that we had spoken about. Ashley, is Jared out there trying to talk <laughs> to people about movies? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That's the, honestly though. That's why I was like, yeah, this seems like a 19 year old guy. That's yeah, what all totally. 19 year old guys are into. So there were things that I was like, conversations that were brought up generally that I was like, I feel like I've had this conversation with this person before. So, at the time, they were going by a different name, like Chelsea or Chels, and that this was a girl. And so I was like, I'm in no place to judge anybody for goodness knows what's going on in their life if something had changed. So I kind of let it go, but they actually reached out to me and were like, I think that you're this friend that I used to speak to. And I was like, I think you're the friend I used to speak to. And she kind of came clean about everything. She's like, well, my real name is Ashley. Um, you know, I, at the time I was going through something where I felt that it was more comfortable for me to be this person online. Hmm. And I was like, oh, okay. I, I don't know how to take that, but again, I'm in no place to judge for it. So there were a lot of things after that too, that kind of came about. She's like, I went through a lot of life changes and I'm like, I accepted it. I accepted the apology of it. But at the same time, I'm like, this is a person that I told a lot of personal details to who yeah. helped me through a lot in my life because being at college age too like 19 to 20 right was when we were really close i'm like i just don't know how to feel about the fact that that's not the person who i thought i was talking to the was that time. this was the age correct or was it just the gender that was the only difference the the gender was the main difference um i think there was a little bit of the age too like i originally thought that they were a couple years older than they were. Like I was 19 at the time. I assumed they were about 19, 20, only to find out that I think she was a couple years younger. Okay. Like she was probably about 17 at the time. Let's just take a minute to talk about meat and how quality matters when it comes to meat. So every month, ButcherBox ships a curated selection of high quality meat right to my home. This this is for like the meat lovers out there. Meat lovers. The ones that like have the, you know, Lauren used to have a boyfriend who's, 
parents used to always make like a it piece of meat some for kind of meat and yeah. some kind of vegetable for yeah. dinner every single night so if you guys do that if you're like on a protein kick or something you're gonna want butcher box because all meat is free of antibiotics and added hormones and each box has nine to 11 pounds of meat and that's enough for 24 individual meals it's it's packaged really well too. It's it's so that it's always fresh and it's shipped frozen in vacuum sealed can you know um you know vacuum sealed ways so that yeah. it stays that fresh. And you can customize your box or go with one of, that they've already curated. Um, and either way, I get exactly what I want. Uh, Butcher Box is a no brainer. It's the best meat shipped right to my door, which means one less trip to the grocers. And also, I'm not very good at picking out what looks like a good cut of meat, and Butcher Box does that for you. And they have options like 100% grass fed, finished beef, free range organic chicken, heritage pork wild caught alaskan salmon and sugar and nitrate free bacon so you know it's it's going to be as little process as possible with butcher Box, you get the highest quality of meat around for just six dollars a meal and they even have free shipping nationwide so right now you can get two pounds of ground beef and two packs of bacon absolutely free plus twenty dollars off your first box just go to butcherbox.com slash get it and use the promo code get it at checkout that's butcherbox.com slash get it or use the promo code get it at checkout this is a great gift for any meat lover around for christmas so check it out okay so i have a question i just like to recap yeah. in my head so basically you met this per- you met a person on the internet named asher that said that they were male and you guys were and then you and a group of friends and this per this male asher were in like a big group chat but this person would never do like the facetimes and stuff when you guys would do that like the video chat sessions you guys would have so then you got suspicious but then kind of forgot about it then you came across a girl on the internet or in person on the internet right a girl on the internet, yeah. Okay, like, a girl I on the internet. I've never met this person. Got it. And said the same exact things to you or similar things. And mm-hmm. then came and then you asked them if they were Azure. And they said yeah. yes. They, I didn't actually ask them. They asked me, they're like, are you this person that I used to be friends with? Hmm. And I was like, yeah, actually. Because they had referenced like conversations wait but that's so weird wouldn't you be like but didn't you say there's no way you could be that person because that person was a male and a guy named asher yeah it it went a little bit like that because it was more vaguely like oh were you friends with this person i'm like yeah how how do you know that and so it was kind of leading towards that and they're like oh well I was this person. So basically they did. Kurgi. So basically they they were kind of sort of trying to come clean, in other words, since they came to you about it. She was very upfront about it. She came clean. She apologized a lot about it. So at least I can give her that much credit. And at least it wasn't romantic. And at least you have closure. Yeah, Yeah, actually I was going to ask you that. Were you into Asher in a romantic way? Because I would feel somewhat like... I don't, I mean, it was a very charming person or personality. And uh, like, I mean, the pictures that were sent were very cute. Don't get me wrong. It was actually who she said, because I asked about that. Like, who did you send me pictures of? Yeah, who was again, it? We, That's so crazy. We tried crazy. to reverse image search them and nothing came up. And she's like, oh, that was my ex-boyfriend. And I'm like, That's a little creepy. So but, did you ask her why she did that? I did. And the only reasoning that I got was she felt that it was more comfortable for her at the time to have that persona, which is not much of an explanation at all. But again, I, I think we're in a time now because it was about a difference of five to six years between the initial friendship and her coming clean Wow! to where I'm like, I don't know what you have going on personally. I think a lot of people deal with like gender identity and I think online is a really good place to kind of test the waters for that. So I still don't Mm. know if that's the full reasoning or not, but that's an interesting take on it though. I can yeah, see that I didn't for want sure. To press that matter right. either. Wow. Wow. That's crazy. So are you guys still friends? Yeah. We are not actually. <laughs> um, and it's nothing that was like malicious or anything. I think we just kind of lost touch over it all. Um, I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't talk to many internet friends that I have anymore, but I think it's one of those things where like we, you know, we're not face to face. We don't have that kind of interaction. So yeah. we kind of just fizzled out. All right. Well, thank you yeah. so much for calling in. 
No problem. Thank you, guys. It's good talking to you. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Okay. So I wasn't entertained by that at all. Like, what the heck? Like, how am I supposed to? I mean, well, okay. I think that's a. I think that was a real you catfish. Seemed, you seemed into it, but I don't think that was a real catfish. This girl obviously wasn't very emotionally involved with this person. She was like, "Oh, yeah, but we're that, friendly," yeah. and then you turned out to be someone else. Oh, yeah, but it's remember like, how we define catfish is pretending to be someone you're not. I get this it. This girl I'm pretended not to be it's a not guy. A catfish, but it certainly didn't shake her life. No, but I don't think we. I don't think we asked. I feel like I want people who are like emotionally invested in the person that they're <laughs> and they like by. flew to small yeah. town Indiana. Oh, okay, yeah, like, like I was tried. in love with them, and I had like you know my my world. They were in my world. Like that that girl just like types some words every once in a while, and she's on the internet. With them. Okay, all right. Well, let's try our next call. But I applaud you for being yeah. so invested. In that I story. wasn't. Well, no, I see what you're saying. It wasn't like. And again, she didn't color. make it seem like it was this emotionally tra- yeah. traumatic experience. But I do think it's kind of crazy to like talk to someone and be friendly with them, and then be using their ex boyfriend's photos no, and I pretending to be a different person. Just that in itself is fascinating. To sure. Me. Okay. Okay. Great. Ashley, you sit down to me, this at is home a- tonight on your computer after we're done with the podcast yeah. and you upload a picture of Lauren and start messaging people and that's not fucking weird to you? Of course it's weird, but like when it comes to like that would never that's just that just wasn't an, you know what I mean. I know what that you was mean. no different than Justin McCartney and I think Justin <laughs> okay, McCartney yeah. and I DMing and I okay. didn't even think about that for the past decade. I feel ya. I feel ya. Okay, but no offense to our caller because oh, she's Ashley, lovely. What about fake Chris fucking who Chris? American Idol. Remember? Chris Richardson. Or how do you know? Oh, boy, he gave me his message. What do you mean? He gave me his... <laughs> Ashley, what? Oh. He gave me his AIM in person. Why did he give you his AIM? Because we were flirty. <laughs> but he obviously wasn't comfortable enough to give me his number. I was a 19-year-old fangirl. That's funny. I it was, was like, him. I remember he wrote it on a piece of paper. Like, did he say anything? And he got home. It was the first time I was like... <laughs> left on red oh no and his name was chris richardson from american idol season yeah. six <laughs> and he um i was i was Your obsessed life is the best. he was giving my first boyfriend yeah I, like if we were like flirty and he gave me i want to google AIM. a picture of him oh god he's I don't know married what like now, now. I, i've recently creeped on him that week that there was a lot of american idols in my life okay. I, I looked him up That's so funny. and he um i one time was so nervous because i was going to initiate the first aim this is like after we had gone back and forth a couple of times and he he i said hey or like hey there and he didn't respond is this him yeah. He probably didn't know. Oh, he's really cute. cute. He's Ashley. so my like he's so my type. Yeah. 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 He's cute. He probably didn't know who it was. No, we had gone back and forth a couple times oh, already. Oh, okay. But then I found out that he was dating someone. Right. That slut from Florida. She was so <laughs> slutty. And it was Virginia B. Virginia B. When you left like that Lauren. That slut from Florida. <laughs> She okay. was definitely like everything you'd think that like a twenty three year old wannabe pop star would end up. She looked like dating for five dancer. months. Yeah, my favorite flat is Rothy's. You guys know this, but it's also the best gift you can give to the person in your life who likes flats, um, mm-hmm. and like the person that needs to like look nice for work. You know, like they're not going to wear sneakers to work; they're going to wear a flat that looks professional and put together. And I love Rothy's because it comes in a whole bunch of designs. They re-up them all the time. So there's yeah. always new stuff on the website. There's new they, colors new and colors. prints and patterns. And yeah. there's sneakers, loafers, and points. And They've classics. come a long way since we first started doing ads for Rothy's. But they're still just as comfortable and sustainable, made from water bottles, and they still don't cut up the back of your ankle. And that's all you really need to know about Rothy's, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I also always think that if you have like a yogi or like a yoga lover, I think they're really good to go to yoga class in because you just yeah. slip them on, you take them off, your feet don't smell. Yeah. It's um, a really good like look with yoga pants. And something that I always use my Rothy's for, <laughs> this is more of like your everyday chore type thing, but I always take my dogs out in them because mm-hmm. you just slip them on, slip yep. right off. Like no need for laces. You'll quickly discover why BuzzFeed called them the forever shoes. So go to rothys.com slash get it to get your new favorite flats, comfort style and sustainability. These are the shoes you've been waiting for. Head to rothys.com slash get it today. Okay, we're going to call our next caller. 
um, and see if we have a story that's more up to Ashley's liking. I also <laughs> like the way that, like, I thought he was going to have a first boyfriend. <laughs> And We're then so it, I didn't get a first boyfriend until 10 years, years later. Do the SpongeBob voice. 10, ten years, years later. later. All right, guys, we have caller number two on the line. Caller number two, I want to be entertained. I hope you have a good catfishing story. <laughs> and if you don't, then I may make fun of you a little bit. I'm in that mood. Is that, that okay? She's so evil. We- she hung up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. She didn't. She's hanging there. Lore? Hi. Oh. All right, so uh, I was the catfisher, not the catfish. Oh, oh okay. well, are you entertained, Ashley Akinetti? I am more entertained. Yeah. You have my attention, Rose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so um, my so I'm going to preface this with I was younger and a little bit crazier. I probably wouldn't do this now. Okay. Um, it was my sophomore year of college, and uh, I started hooking up with this gorgeous guy in my German class. He was like way out of my league, really talented in the bedroom area. Oh, and, damn, um, as a sophomore, tell me more. Yeah, yeah, and so some months passed, and eventually, I unfortunately caught feelings, um, and I realized that he wasn't the type of guy who was like a relationship fella. So I knew I was going to have to pull some tricks to get him to lock me down. Yeah. Yo, girl, Good hold on. Let, let me get my notepad out. One sec. <laughs> so I had had this pretty realistic looking catfish account that I just made in high school just for keeping tabs on people. So basically like a Finsta, like a fake Instagram, but yeah, like high school basically. version? Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, and it looked pretty realistic. It wasn't any girl who was like a 12 out of 10. It was just like your cute, pretty girl next door. So it was realistic. Was it a Facebook? Yeah, it was a Facebook. Okay. And so what I did was... I added him as a friend on, on the, the fake account. And when he accepted, I did the thing where you go and you like a few pictures in a row. So they know you're like kind of like looking through their stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, so funny how that works. Yeah. Yeah. So he so he messaged the account and I sort of instigated a flirty conversation. Um, and I was kind of like pushing it further and further. And then... So I'm going to really out myself for being a psycho now. Um, so what I did was I screenshotted the conversation from the perspective of the fake account. Mm-hmm. And then I messaged it to my actual real Facebook fake or Facebook account uh, with the caption of, see, I told you he didn't really give a shit about you. And then I'm confused there. Okay, I get no, it. I no, get no, it. No, I know. And then, and then, what I did? Oh, was I get I it. I get it now. I get it. You, you messaged real, yourself. Yeah, I, I messaged okay. myself from the fake to the real one. Yeah, okay. And then I screenshotted that conversation. Yeah. And I sent it to him, and I was like, "What the fuck? This girl in my friend group just sent me this." <laughs> and then I made it. <laughs> I made it seem like this whole thing where, like, there was, like, this mean girl in my friend group who was trying to prove that he didn't care about me and that I should move on. And he got so scared that he was going to lose me over it that he relationship zoned me. No. I mean, that's yeah. awesome. Yes. Well, so, and so that's not where it ends. So, um, so we date for a few months and I start feeling really, really guilty. And I confide in some of my sorority sisters about everything and they're like that's insane that's crazy when he finds out he's gonna leave you so the longer you prolong this you're just gonna get more hurt yeah and so i decided to be honest with him um i sat him down and i was like i have something really serious to tell you and you might leave me over it like (laughs) i've kind of been been lying like our whole relationship about how things started with us and I was so honest. I told him the whole thing. And the whole time, this guy is smiling ear to ear, laughing his ass off. Oh, my God. Like, what the fuck? Why, so why are you laughing? This isn't funny. I lied to you. And he's like, well, since we're on the topic, I kind of have a really big thing that I've been hiding from you, too. Ooh. Turns out he had a baby. And 
and we had been hooking up like the whole semester, he did, uh, he uh, like college. nearly a year. Yeah, and he had a kid that was just born, like a couple months prior oh to us dating. God. And you were like, "I take it back. I'm just kidding. That never. <laughs> I know." <laughs> <laughs> but so but so yeah so we tried to keep making it work because he was you know completely cool with it he was glad that i had something i was lying about too but for me i just i came from having a deadbeat dad and like knowing he was that i couldn't get over it yeah but, so uh, that was a deal breaker for you so that was the deal breaker <laughs> yeah. that's a funny twist and it's a good story and i'm glad that he had such a good sense of humor about it like he sounds oh, like a pretty cool too. guy Good oh, sense no, of he... humor, Ashley. He was hiding a child. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, thank God you're a t- semi-bad person so I can admit to you that I'm not hiding exactly. a human like Drake. Uh, that's funny. Uh, wait, so yeah. I'm just going to wrap my head around. You took a screenshot and send it yeah. to yourself. So you're pretending that the girl that you, your Finsta basically is a friend of yours. Who was like a mean girl in this okay. friend group of mine. Who was like trying to prove that like and, I shouldn't care about this And what did he say what he was doing when he was talking to her? Was he like, oh, I meant nothing, baby. I love you. No, uh, because they were I just hooking just up. Him, I think it was, yeah, we were just hooking up. I think it just made, because I, I was pulling the whole like, wow, like maybe you really don't care about me at all. Like, I guess like I was starting to catch feelings. I Like I'm so wrong to do that. And then all of a sudden that fear of losing me. That could have just, backfired on you real fast. Like you had some balls. Wait, how would it have I don't because like for some reason he figured out it was you being crazy, and then she loses, him, and then I he's guess. like, "Wow, you really psycho!" You and know? then you're like, "Well, you got a kid, <laughs> yeah." But like, oh, he yeah, would, yeah, she wouldn't no. know that part. At yeah, that point. It, honestly, if he hadn't had a kid, I, it would have been such a bad look for me. Like any other dude would have been so freaked out. Yes, I'm pretty sure that seventy percent of my shoe closet is. Shoe dazzle. When I went home for Thanksgiving, I only brought one pair of boots and it was my shoe dazzle, like fringy boots. Mm-hmm. And I got so many compliments on those and they look hella expensive. I know. Every time I get a um, compliment on shoes, I'm like, oh, there's shoe dazzle, which means yeah. they look nice, but they are extremely affordable. Yeah. Um, and they're always on brand. They're always coming up with, you know, whatever the new style is. So it's up there, check back all the time, new styles. And if you also, this is what I did when I started. Yeah, you just because take the 60 style, 60 second style quiz for personalized outfit recommendations where you can shop over a thousand different styles. And it's also so easy to find specific items. If you just like t- type in the search bar, you're looking for fringe boots, you type in fringe boots and there you go. And if you check out as a VIP, you get 30 to 50% off retail pricing and free shipping on orders over $39. Plus the best part is there's no commitment to order on a regular basis. You can skip any month if you want. I remember Lauren was always, she's been a VIP for the longest time with Shoe Dazzle before this podcast even existed existed and she'd always be like oh well i'm i'm gonna have a couple of shoe boxes delivered to the house and they were mm-hmm. like five dollars each yeah yeah and, and she's i'm like, like how much this one was it was free she you know? always used to do this and i was like very confused mm-hmm. but now that i'm more familiar with shoe dazzle i get how it works and it's just that that incredible again if you are ready to upgrade your seasonal wardrobe with affordable trending shoes and stable pieces they have clothes guys don't think it's only shoes then you must check out shoe dazzle get your first shoe dazzle style for as low as ten dollars as a vip that's 75 percent off your first order Ordem. That was fun. <laughs> ha ha. That's 75% off your first item with the special link, shoedazzle.com slash get it. Yeah. And you're going to get like, we're, we're saying $5, but really it's probably more about 10 as a VIP, $10. And you could also get free shipping on orders over $39. There's absolutely no commitment like we mentioned. And it's shoedazzle.com slash get it. I have a question, Anonymous. Since your since your <laughs> attempt at catfishing was successful, yeah. how many times have you catfished since? Um, I actually haven't. Ever you're anonymous. You've no, never I, used an account no, like I that although, again. I, although although I will tell you I did catfish another guy in high school. What <laughs> so before this. Oh before. So before that. Yeah, before that. Um I wow. had this ex boyfriend of mine who uh was like so shitty and he would always vent about this ex-girlfriend of his um complain about her 24 7 and after we broke up he immediately got back together with her and so i did that whole spiel added him liked some pictures he was the one who was actually instigating all this flirty shit but they were in a relationship together so i sent her all the screenshots 
And then I broke up his relationship. What's up? <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. And, and he was he was very instigating stuff, very sexual. And so oh, I, okay. I so he still did it. So it was her. it's all his fault still. No, right? it, it has nothing still, to do with yeah, you. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, okay. no, hundred percent. And I sent her the screenshots, and she was so grateful and broke up with him. But oh, yeah. you're you're so, so good. <laughs> I have no one was a I, positive catfish. I have questions because yes. a finsta is a. I believe I don't have one. I don't know, but I believe it is a little easier to pull off than a fake Facebook account because of, because a hard. picture the pictures are so teeny on IG. That it's like, and a lot of people use cartoons and shit. So what picture, I want to know like the making behind your fake profile, so to speak. Oh my goodness. Like where did you get this picture? Yeah. Like why? Okay. So back in high school, back when Tumblr was really popular, I found this girl who I just thought was cute. And then I just deep stalked her and I. But like from, like, how did you find her? Like from your school? Did you use someone you knew? And so, and so now I'm still able to update with current pictures. So it looks like she's getting older and older. No and I've had this since like 16. You kept her in touch? Wait, in wait, touch but where did your... you find this profile? Uh, I, I found her on Tumblr. Yeah. And oh. then I've just been like, I've just been like low key stalking her over the years. So I have recent pictures. Wow. This That's is very good. good. This wait, is, are you still Lauren, updating? Wait, it's very, are it's you very still clever. updating? And then, and then sometimes I'll make like posts and such being like, do like a collage of random ass people and be like, so grateful for my friends. Happy Friendsgiving. Or some are you still updating today? <laughs> the Finsta. Mm, yeah, just in case I need it. Okay. No, you're what? good. Okay, you're a good guest. You're very no good. complaints. Thank, Thank you. you. Talk, Talk to you some other time. Bye. Bye. <laughs> wow, it's awesome. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Okay. Yeah. You okay, guys. She's crazy. I love a little nut. Are you guys kidding me right now? This poor girl's out there on Tumblr. <laughs> And she has no idea that there's someone out there updating she's another still, profile of her. She's still exactly what I wanted from this podcast. That yes. was good. That was a twist. Y'all, All so many y'all are wild. She's I can't still hop updating on this. them on like I'm having a great Thanksgiving. That I don't. Awesome. I don't approve. This is fucking wild. I mean, but that's what you want. When you- <laughs> yeah, I can't wait for you to open an account. There's someone out there tri- pretending to be Ashley. I am Mumbai. Or Mumbai. Mumbai. Uh, okay, so Ashley, this is this one's for you. It starts with sixth grade. <laughs> oh, this is the one? We, 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 we narrowed it. We, this is one of the ones we chose. Yes. Okay. Well, then I think it's good, probably. So I can <laughs> make fun of it. You can do whatever you want. Okay, great. Let's get her on the line. Let's... We'll, we'll let the people decide. All right, guys. Actually, the sixth grade story, uh, we couldn't get her on the line. So here we are with another story. Eighth grade. It's an eighth grade story. Eighth grade. We got an eighth grade story. Yeah, <laughs> and she's oh, wow. on the line Joke's right now. Jokes on me. And you're listening. So, so Brianna, please, could you Brianna. tell us your catfish story, please? Yes. Okay. So um, I just want to add that this was like before catfishing was a thing, and I was also when social media was becoming bigger. So I'm like really oblivious in the whole situation. Okay, got it. But... You didn't have the warning <laughs> yeah. signs in front of you. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, okay. um, in, I was in eighth grade at this time and this guy added me on Facebook and he had like added a lot of people and was friends with a lot of friends, like people I was friends with. So I just assumed it was okay. Um, and so I just started kind of talking to him and then throughout the year, um, it got more flirty and we kind of started talking, um, hadn't had met him, but just assumed it was okay. Mm-hmm. Cause there was a lot of mutual friends. Mm -hmm. Um, And then throughout the years, like we just had kept talking. We would talk every single night. Just to clarify, the mutual friends were just digital mutual friends. No, they're from school. Oh, they were from school. Like your friends at school said like, So my friends at school were like, no, on like social media mutual friends. Like see, we had, like, see, they they were listed as his friends. Like, yeah, listed. Yeah. yeah, So he had, I guess, added. And so like, but you know, my friends would write on his page. So it was like, it was people I went to school with. So not necessarily friends, but people I knew. Mm -hmm. So I just didn't think much of it. And I didn't even think to ask them. We just like had started talking and becoming friends. And then it progressed to more and um, started quote unquote dating, Mm -hmm. um, you know, like middle school dating. And um, so 
once, I don't know. So we would talk every single night. He started talking to my sister all the time. Like we all became friends. Um, and then I think it was either like freshman year, sophomore year, my family, he was from Arizona. So that's why that was the excuse on why I never met him. Um, and I lived in California at the time. Um, and so he would send me packages and like, I'd be like, oh, I like that hoodie you're wearing. He would send me the hoodie that he was oh, wow. wearing. Wow. So it was. It wait, wait, like what do you was, mean you like the hoodie he was wearing from pictures he sent you or like, videos? Yeah, pictures that he would send me because it was when Instagram was like starting to become big. Um, and so like I would be like, oh, I like this hoodie. And he would send me like I would have huh. a package of the hoodie and like other things. So was it a it new hoodie? Like, and where was the yeah, package from? Was it from Arizona? It was from Arizona. So okay. from Arizona. So my family actually lives in Arizona and we went to go visit them. And I just happened to look up the address mm-hmm. and it, ha- it was down the street from where my aunt lived. Whoa. Okay. Oh God, it's your yeah. Cousin. So it's your was, cousin. <laughs> my cousin. Yeah. Ew. So, so I was like, okay, this is so weird. So he was saying, he was like, oh, I'm going to go to a football game. And I was like, oh, is it at this school? And he was like, yeah. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to. Oh, my God. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to meet you. I'm going to go to this football game. Like, it, I'm finally going to meet you. It'd be cool. So I got there, and he kept making excuses on why he couldn't meet me. Like, I went to this entire football game. But um, halfway through, I'm sitting there, and I'm like, okay, are you ever going to meet me? Are you? He's like, no, no, no. I'm mad at you. I don't want to see you anymore. Like, just making Wait, excuses for everything. I'm mad at you all of a sudden. Yeah, yeah, he just all of a sudden was like, I'm mad. Like, I don't want to see you. But he would be like, oh, why are you standing right now? What? Like, <gasps> and he would describe my entire <gasps> outfit. He was there. Oh, Ew. That's really creepy. Yeah, he was there. And so I was like looking around, like could not see him at all. So I was like, what? Like, who is this guy? That's like scream-like. So, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm like picturing like a horror movie scene. Yeah. I know. And so like after that, boy. after that, I was like, I'm done. Like, this is over. And he had like started, he talked to like a couple other girls and I had like become friends with them because we've kind of like bonded over this. Um, and so one day, I can't even think of who the person messaged first, if it was the other friend or me, but I we got this message from this guy and it's the guy's picture. So it's, um, his name was Cameron. And so we get a picture from Cameron, but a different name. And we were like, okay, what? And it's like this message. And I was like, okay, this is weird. Like, why is the name changed? And I hadn't thought about, it was like a year later after everything and, um, get this message. And it's the guy who was cat like, who was his picture? The actual guy in the picture. Yeah, the actual guy in the pictures. And he messaged us and was like, hey, like, I know this has happened to a few girls. I just want to make sure the clarification, the girl he's been saying is his sister is actually my girlfriend. Um, Like, I can send you a video proving it's me. Like, I'm, he's not the guy, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, who the real guy is? No, still. And so my sister, because she had like, quote unquote, become like friends with him, like messaged him. And we were, she's like, we you become a good friend like you can just tell us who you are at this point like <laughs> just come out of your like, shell damn, trying to damn. figure it out uh-huh. but um yeah ever since i never heard from him ever again nobody heard from him even like the girl i become friends with because of the situation she's like nope nothing again but you know i made a good friend out of this so you'll thing. never know who this guy was no, someone in Arizona. Wait, so I have I know a, I'm confused. Arizona. You know why I'm confused? Wait. Because, well, go okay. Ahead. Um, <laughs> how did this guy, the one that was actually him, figure out know to contact you? Like, how did he know that this he catfish probably was... stalked this whole group of friends, right? If he had mutual yeah, friends I, with her friends. Honestly, friend? I have like. That's like the foggy thing to me is I just don't remember how he contacted me. Like I know it was on Instagram and I know it's somewhere. Like I'm sure I can find the messages. I just like don't remember how he contacted me. If it was like through he, my friend found him and reached out and he like reached back out to me. Wait, you um, met him through Instagram or Facebook? So I met him on Facebook and then that's when like – that was before Instagram. So Instagram okay. had just come out like – right around this time and so then, then you it, like, said that people that you knew were writing on his wall on facebook yes. so then yes, what is that about did you ever investigate that they, like did they yeah, actually know they him? never knew him they were just like oh he was cute 
<laughs> okay, so then you actually dated him, go to this football game. He never shows himself, but texts you that he's looking at you and that he's mad at you. Did you like cry? Like, how did you break <laughs> yeah. up? Like, what happened after that? Yeah, I was just like, I'm, I'm done. Like, you obviously, I had suspicion at that point. That point, we weren't like dating. Like, the amount of time that we were actually dating was like not that long. But like, I just had my suspicion at that time, and so I was like, okay, this is like my time. I'll get my clarification, and I can prove everybody wrong. Like, and my, then the thing is with the shirts and the sweatshirts and whatever, he ew. would just what Google the sweatshirt the guy was wearing. He obviously and then knew, mailed it to you. He knew the real Cameron, oh, right? Creepy, because. Yeah. Was that guy's name oh, yeah. Cameron? Yeah. Well, like the guy who was really in the picture, um, catfishing. Like his name was Cameron, but the guy in the real picture, I can't remember oh, his okay. name. Okay. But it was like, yeah, his picture, not his name. It, it's obviously a guy that is close to the guy in the picture because if he was using his sister, right? Wasn't yeah, he using his his girlfriend as his sister as his or some sister, shit? Yeah. yeah. That's fucking Very weird. Interesting. All Very right. Weird. Well, all right. So that was an eighth grade story. That wasn't. That was. In, that was interesting, especially since it was before the catfish. Yeah. I mean, you went to a football game and he's like texting you, and then he never. Well, it's the creepiest. Yeah. 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 It's so weird. I wonder if yeah. it's some like maybe it was the kid's dad or something. Ew. Like Lord. Cameron. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, all right. thanks for calling. Thank in. you so much. Of course. Of course, guys. Stay safe <laughs> out there. Me on. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, Ashley, I'm thinking maybe we read the sixth grade story. Okay, that works. Just so, just so people who Fine. are listening are intrigued. Okay. Warren, you have yeah. it, yeah? Here I go. Um, when Do- I was in sixth grade, I would go on Club Penguin. Well, I don't know what that is. I think it's an app where you can talk to a shit ton of people okay. at once. With my friends, and there was a giant group of us who became friends from all over the world. We used to talk on AIM as we got older and text, et cetera. There was one guy on there who was named Aaron, and he was one of my best friends. He was super cute, too, and looked like five years older than us, but said he was our age. We would text, on the, we would text and talk on the phone, and he had a manly voice, so, it was, so that was normal. So they talked on the phone. Yeah. He like sh- he like but shared like, stuff about his family and everything and had an Instagram. Totally legit. My best friend in real life started dating him when we were in eighth grade and they texted constantly and would dating Skype. Digitally, I'm assuming. Yes. yes. And would Skype. His camera was broken though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And talk <laughs> and talk on the phone. Even though they would send each other letters, he sent her one of his t-shirts. Then after like a year of them dating, my friend was on Facebook and found a guy named Aaron, but with a different last name. Then he told us that, told us, wait. Then he told us the same pictures. My my fucking computer just died. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me see if I can pull it up with my phone. Oh, God. Hold on. I have it on my phone too, so. Okay. This is hilarious. Wait, okay, but Ashley, did you like that last story? It was fine. You know what I mean? Like, it was like, I mean, like, it was creepy. Like, that yeah, one part that was, was really creepy. Good. Yeah. Um, and it, it was kind of interesting the way that the guy came around and he was like, this is me and this guy is catfishing me. Right. Okay. Um, but I don't believe it was before catfishing was an actual thing because I think the catfish movie came out before Instagram. Aaron, for, oh, it did. If we're going to be precise, I'm pretty sure it did. Mm but with a different last name than he told us in the same pictures. Okay. Then after more digging, she found a girl named Alyssa with the last name he told us was his. She had pictures with all of his family members he had told us about, but we never had seen any of them with seen any of with her in them. Wait, Lauren, what? Oh, but we, we never saw her in. Never seen it. Okay. Wait, say that again. The sister. <laughs> Please read it all over this again. <laughs> then after like a year of dating, my friend was on Facebook and found a guy named Aaron, but with a different last name than he told us in the same pictures. Then after more digging, she found a girl named Alyssa with the same last name he told us was his. Oh, okay. So, so it sounds like so far Alyssa took Aaron's name, like that the catfish is actually Alyssa, blah, blank. Pretending to be Aaron, blah, blah. Okay. Because they found Aaron, blah, blah. So, <laughs> on yes. Facebook. She had pictures with all his family members he had told us about, but we had never seen any with her in them. Mm. We were confused. It got weirder. When we saw that there were similar pictures posted with similar captions on this Alyssa girl's account, 
Oh, okay. That the Aaron account on Instagram that we both followed had like a picture of a concert stage with the same caption and stuff like that. So my friend and I confronted him and we're like, what the heck is going on? We've been friends for years and they had dated for a year and it took a while, but eventually he told us that he was Alyssa and the Aaron guy from the pictures was her 20 something year old cousin. It was crazy. She had lied to us for years and many people fell for it. She sounded like a man too on the phone, FYI. Her excuse was that when she created her Penguin account, her mom said she couldn't give out her real name and to use her cousin's name. And that when she started talking to us on AIM, the stuff in and stuff she continued it and used his pictures and everything like i said at the beginning it was a big group of us and she dated a she dated a handful of friends as aaron (laughs) and when okay i got lots of things okay and when we asked if she was a lesbian she denied it completely saying she just got in too deep i don't know anyways the real person ended up blocking us on all the social media and our phones so she is real confusing but that was Six years of her life being catfished by a girl. See, Ashley, six years. See, Ashley, six years. I think it's crazy that? because they talked to this person on the phone that sounded. No, that's always crazy when they when they sound different on the phone. Yeah, I get that. But listen, how did she do that? I understand I you. I, just I, we want we place. want the fly to you know yeah. Brazil and know. and whatever. And this has brought up another thing for me. I don't think you're dating if you have never met once in real life. Well, that's why I asked you guys that at yeah, the top now of the that podcast. I've heard this enough, I'm like, no, you're but not dating unless you've met in real life. I don't and think that's like, true. Oh, come on, no. you're date. You're, okay, let's think of the fundamental idea of what dating is. Dating is like going out, exploring, living life together. Is living, it's doing yeah, but things that, together. But by that it's definition, not, then a long distance relationship wouldn't no, quantify. Yeah, of course it would because you're long distance and yet you do see each other from time to time. I'm not saying that yeah. women who are dating a guy in the military yeah. aren't actually dating them, but there yeah. was some in person interaction. <laughs> okay, so what about people like locked up? That like marry people that are locked up that have never seen them. Like, I, I like you if, can't say. I guess here's my thing. Part of your life with them, like, and every you have day. feelings for someone. You're dating them, whether you see them. I would never date someone I've never seen, but I don't think we can. I personally, is it dating? Do or you know what I'm do saying? You have a relationship. I couldn't help but wonder. I truly couldn't help but wonder. <laughs> hmm. Very good question. Do you know what I'm saying? Because I, I guess I would be a hypocrite to. To tell someone that they're not dating someone that they actually truly believe and feel on the inside that they're dating. Yeah, but then again, we're talking about this in the context of these children's stories, like th- sixth grade children's and eighth grade stories. <laughs> actually, <laughs> guys, they're not children. Sixth story. grade and eighth grade. Yeah, sixth grade and eighth grade. Yeah, but you make us seem like we're senior citizens of the fucking AARP discount. <laughs> Gather no, up on the cauldron, children. Tell us your instances. catfish stories. <laughs> these two specific instances were sixth grade and eighth grade, in which you count not even touching in the high school hall or like in the as middle dating. school hallway as dating which i always thought was absolutely bananas she did maybe, she used to maybe judge me this is what you know maybe that's how i became a 29 year old with not having a boyfriend <laughs> but like lauren used to be like oh we're dating i'm like i would literally you as an eighth grader run, bitch you know <laughs> as an eighth grader call her out and be like you are not dating oh when was the last time you like you like went to dinner and sat across from the table oh my God. she'd be like well we're dating but we don't we don't acknowledge each other's presence in person. Yeah. We just get home and then we DM, you know, yeah. we AIM. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. that's what I'm saying. That's, that's some people's that's relationship. That's how you start dating. And then you goes on to like that one date with your parents in the back of the movie theater and they're watching you and then you go on one yeah, alone. And yeah. then you, is it really, or is that just our culture? No, like our how... parents never fucking said like, oh, I, my, my eighth grade boyfriend who I was, there's this guy I was dating I'm in sure seventh mom grade. had an eighth grade boyfriend. You think that mom... Yeah, but she actually like went to the store and like drank a Coke with him at like the drugstore. Oh my okay. God, it was a, a, pop, a soda pop. <laughs> yes. Did they put a quarter in the jukebox? <laughs> yeah, they did something. Or okay. at least they like played after school. I mean, they I didn't like walk I was too around. embarrassed to ask mom to do anything with a boy out of school. I think you definitely have a point, Ashley, of course. Like, and I semi agree with you. I think what I'm saying is it, it is somewhat, I mean, people out there do it. You did know? you have an eighth grade boyfriend? I had, yeah. Did you have guys that you I told you, dating? Yeah, I told you I had this one guy. I can't say his name because I would get made fun of because of his last name. I, I never told you about him. You got to say the last name. Why I got to, hold on. Why is it? Pause. Okay, we're okay, back. Okay, she told me the name. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You don't get to know him. But she did dirty things with him. And I would that say could, that was dating. Everyone knows I gave <laughs> yeah. head way back. 
yeah, way back I in know. my day. So Anyways, funny. Um, good catfishing. I'm surprised, guys. I I mean, they're out there. I mean, it was. I was. You know, I have was, a question. Yeah. After hearing, was it the second girl's caller? Are you contemplating making a fake account now? To trap a guy <laughs> or Whoa. get some. I don't want to do that. You're the shit. real single one here. I know. I'm like, damn. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I would never do that, obviously. I mean, but it would be kind of fun if we like curated an, an Instagram model. Like, what if we curated an Instagram model? I, there's profile? so many people that do that. It's crazy. Yeah. Like an influencer. And then you try to like see if the guy is faithful or not. Yeah. Not, not talking about my own personal experience. I'm, I'm talking sure about, like, people if do we that wanted all to the test time. one of the guys yeah. that you were dating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. Anyways, all right, guys. Well, thanks for listening to our Catfish Podcast. Let us know. Join the Facebook group. Follow us on Instagram at I Don't Get It Podcast. And let us know what other topics you'd like for us to have callers on for. Mm-hmm. And follow me on Instagram at Asprez. Hey, and, and don't Lauren, if you want to get your hair done. Lauren A. And I, Ashley, and, because duh. And yes. don't be giving me shit, listeners, for being a little sassy today. Everyone's Every, allowed their sass day. Everybody's allowed their sass day. Yes. yes. You know, and to be like a real person. person. Yeah. Yes. I'm just trying to speak how I feel. I'm tired of having to censor <laughs> the sass because, like, everybody <laughs> in this censor PC nation of ours, yeah. it's like, like let's no. have some fun. Yeah. Okay. Insensitivity training. <laughs> bye. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. bye. I don't get it. Podcast.